Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, Eagles, to another edition of Trad Cat Night Breaking News right here on the Trad Cat Night YouTube channel. Folks, we're going to have a big, big month come January. Lots cooking, lots brewing here at tradcatnight.org, your one-stop website for all the day's latest church apostasy and end time news. That's right, folks, 25 to 50 posts on a regular basis. We are highly unique. We're not like any other Catholic site, uh, Christian site that's out there. It's highly interactive message board, chat rooms, live streams, live call and shows. And I've got a lot brewing uh, as it relates to the special guests who I'd like to bring on in January. In any case, folks, what I wanted to do outside of uh, doing a little bit more promoting for tradcatnight.org, because as you know, the Eagles are gathering here in these end times, I wanted to discuss uh, a little bit of what uh, Don Orion had to say. Now, Luigi Giovanni Orion was an Italian priest who was active in answering the social needs of his nation during the late 19th century. To this end, he founded a religious institute of men, declared a saint by the church. And there were certain uh, prophecies that he put forth, some of which have already come to pass, some still which um, have not yet come to pass. And in brief, I wanted to really just talk about two of them and specifically, if I could, and you can find the rest of his material at tradcatnight.org. If you do sign up tonight, uh, just contact me on the website and I'll actually send you some more of what he had to say. But one of the interesting things that he did have to say that many people uh, are unaware of was a prophecy that he made in 1935 in which he talked about Rome eventually being bombed and that the Pope at the time would have to walk on the rubble that would transpire as a result of this bombing. We know, we've seen the latest uh, propaganda from quote-unquote ISIS, which you should know by now, is the Israeli secret intelligence service so it's certainly a CIA Mossad operation. In any case, Islam, which has been working with international Jewry to bring about an ultimate destruction of Christianity. They're the ones behind the whole Agenda 2030 immigration, uh, multiculturalist uh, world order that we're seeing currently. We know that they want to take over Rome. We know via the real third secret of Fatima that we will have a Pope to flee Rome and that he's going to have to walk upon not, not only rubble, but more specifically dead bodies as he is leaving Rome. I dare say we are talking about Pope Benedict the 16th. And also, if I could, in 1936, just a year later, and talking about so much devastation and ruin, he says, What will come of so much ruin? As children of divine providence, that, w uh, that we not only do not despair, but we trust in God unlimitedly. We are not of those who believe that this is going to be the end. Corruption and moral evil are at large. It is true, but I think, and I firmly believe, the final victory 
will be of God. And God will triumph in his infinite mercy as has he has always triumphed. It is a great time to come, but the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ and heavenly maternal intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So here he is depicting the restoration of the church, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart, the social slash Eucharistic reign of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, truly a holy priest. And again, for this uh, short promo video, uh, I'm not going to get in everything that he had to say. Just wanted you all to be aware of what he was saying. And it certainly ties into what we are trying to get across here at tradcatnight.org because I am that unique website that is going to cover prophecy on a more regular basis. Some of the top mystics, of course, being Blessed Anna, Emmerich, Marie, Julie, Jehenny. Just to name a few. And folks, if you're looking for my articles and analysis, it will only be seen on tradcatnight.org. As the weeks go by, I've been unveiling more of my never-before-seen be uh, never writings and poems from the work Fortress of the Soul, a book that I've been working on for the past seven years. There's numerous resource pages for you Catholics out there. Links to proper sacraments, holy hour, divine office, and so much more. And I'm the only website. We are the only community because that's how I see it. I see this uh, as us being a community where you can write your own articles and commentaries and be featured. You do not need a journalism background to do so. And again, for $10 a month, it works out to be about 30 cents a day, which is less than half a cup of coffee, folks. The church is going underground. This is the only website you are going to need. The Eagles are gathering. And don't forget to invite your friends, uh, family members, church members to Trad Cat Night. Dot org. So much going on for those who are not privy. Trad Cat Night is the number one Catholic ranked channel and top 15 Christian channel according to Feedspot on YouTube. And my special guest podcast radio show is uh, List. The second, uh, the, the special guest podcast radio show List is second to none. And I don't have time to go through the roster uh, that we have that comes on the show, but it's hundreds deep. And I focus in on everything. As a matter of fact, tomorrow, if you were listening, pay attention to this. I'm going to be releasing the new false prophet message. It just came out yesterday on their website. I'm going to be analyzing it, breaking it down uh, for those who are um, signed up to the live stream. I actually talked about it in brief for about five or ten minutes tonight. But I'm going to be unveiling my analysis on the latest false prophet message. And it concerns essentially the Vatican II modernist heretics, which are forerunners to the arrival of the false prophet and antichrist. So we're talking about a lot here, folks, Zionism, Islam, days, a lot news, all the latest earth changes, planet X, which is a reality prepper, survivalism, geopolitics, economics, geoengineering, FEMA camps, mark of the beast, the phony alien disclosure coming harp, scalar technology, weather wars, directed energy weapons, Vaccines, global depopulation, I'm covering all that. And there is no other traditional Catholic outlet that is doing so. I'm not a part of the false right crowd or community which seems to think that Trump has defeated the New World Order. This is a sham. Everything is going to fall apart. And we eagles will emerge in the end. So join us now. This is where the eagles are gathering. Hope to see some new faces tonight. A lot of great information went out today. And again, look for my analysis on the new false prophet message, which I'm actually going to do a short promo video on next. Until next time, my good friends, stay safe. God bless. Ave Maria.